Um, the New York Knicks, obviously, this is tragic news for them hearing about Julius Randle uh, being out for the season. It's a huge hit on the Knicks. But, you know, to me, when I seen this news, I'm like, oh, man, damn, Julius Randle, he's not going to be playing. But this wasn't a make or break type of thing for the New York Knicks. Julius Randle being out for the New York Knicks going to get surgery. This was not a make or break type of deal for the New York Knicks to go on a playoffs run or or to really go win a championship because let's be honest with each other right here bro this is a safe space I promise you you don't have to worry about being judged but I'm gonna tell you right now the New York Knicks we're not going to the finals either way it goes the New York Knicks we're not going to the conference finals either way it went. Whether Julius Randle was healthy or unhealthy, it does not matter. They're just not that good when you match them up against all the other teams. And they have some great players. They play great basketball. But ultimately, I'm going to trust about three or four other teams in the Eastern Conference to beat them if they, if they play in a seven-game series. Like I mentioned, the Knicks are sitting at number six right now, which is probably going to fall down to number eight meaning they'll have to have a play-in game against the Pacers or the Miami Heat, which is going to be tough. And no matter what the Heat look like in a regular season, we always see what the Miami Heat do in the playoffs. They go to the finals. They win these ball games that people underestimate them in. They constantly perform in the postseason when people don't expect them to actually play good. So if I'm choosing between the Knicks and the Miami Heat, I'm going with the Miami Heat to win this thing. The Knicks and the 76ers, the Miami, the, the 76ers to win this thing. The Knicks and the, uh, the the Boston Celtics, the Celtics to win. The Knicks and the Milwaukee Bucks, I'm going for the Bucks to win. This is just like when, when you stagger these teams next to each other, even though Randall is a key piece for the New York Knicks, he doesn't make that much of a damn impact because he's good. He can score. In a nasty way sometimes, from the free throw line a lot of times. But ultimately, it's not going to open up a free-flowing offense. Because you know who it's going to take shots away from? It's going to take shots away from Jalen Brunson. Because we know Julius Randle shoots some dumbass shots. Let's be honest with each other. This is a safe space. (laughs) It's going to take away some shots from Josh Hart. And Josh Hart has been playing out of this world. It's going to take away shots from DiVincenzo. uh, And then, um, um, what's what's my man's name too? Uh, OG. It's going to take shots away from OG as well. And Anobi. He needs his shots. And he's been playing good as well. So, the way the Knicks have been looking lately... I I trust the Knicks like this to have a better run without Julius Randle than with Julius Randle if it's up to me because I don't know why Julius Randle has too much damn hype. He's probably the most overhyped superstar in the NBA right now. And I don't even know why I say superstar. He's not a damn superstar um, by definition or even by logic. This sounds crucial. And I'm not trying to cut up on the man. I hope he get his surgery. I hope it's successful. <laughs> I hope it's a great surgery. But he's just an overhyped all-star, an overhyped star. And I think it's mainly because he plays for this big team and plays for a big market like the New York Knicks. He's not bad. He's not terrible. But he's also not hyped up to be one of the best forwards in the league. Like, people make him seem like he is. And that's not the case at all. With or without Julius Randle, the Knicks were going to fall short. If you have Julius Randle, I don't think the New York Knicks fans would really, really like it. Because even if you remember early on in the season... They were talking about, oh, we need to trade Julius Randle. And I was a firm believer. I've been saying this since they got the man over there after year two. I've been saying they need to trade Julius Randle. So when when I see Knicks fans who, who put this man on a pedestal saying, oh, we need to trade Julius Randle, something tells me that, oh, yeah, this guy definitely doesn't have that it factor that y'all thought he had. New York Knicks, either way it goes. Your season is not going to end in a a spectacular fashion. You're not putting up no banners at the end of the season. Unfortunately, that's the harsh truth. And I need to bring that segment back because clearly some of y'all need to hear this. This is the damn harsh harsh truth about the New York Knicks and Julius Randle. Y'all best pieces right now are healthy. You play better without Julius Randle. 
You got everything you need in terms of personnel to go on a playoff run right now. And if you really, really, really want to get over that hump with the New York Knicks and you're trying to get further and further in the playoffs, you know what you need to do? You need to trade Julius Randle. Get him the hell out of New York. Send his ass to Sacramento. Send his ass to Charlotte. Send his ass to, to, to wherever, to the G League. Get some pieces and bring somebody who's going to truly be an asset to your team because Julius Randle is not that guy at all.